Alrighty, another cruising with goggles. We're uh, once again heading from Moab, but this time we're heading down to Flagstaff, Arizona at the overfloater K100E VIT. Um, C mod C16. Uh, we got the uh, Pinga trailer on here. And um, yeah, let's roll. Uh, it's a Volvo quarry truck or uh, off road truck, uh, 143,000 pounds. This was the only road I knew, but <laughs> I was looking for an interesting load, uh, sorry, um, trip with this particular cargo, and this happened to fit the bill. This time we're actually scheduled or routed through uh, Monument Valley instead of uh, going AWOL and doing it on our own, like that last trip. Uh, actually a pretty handy trailer uh, in that the uh, main trailer uh, couples fairly far forward on the neck of the Jeep meaning uh, it's a little better in uh, cornering or tighter corners than uh, traditional low boy double uh, maybe we'll get a chance to check it out in an outside view at some point during the trip Once again, we've got a Z-Mod engine in here, CAT C16, and uh, this is my uh, top of the line heavy haul version of it that I uh, do these mods in his open def file. And, uh, it's pretty handy that he includes that, I really appreciate that. Gives you some latitude to do some own things with the motors, put them in, you know, lots of different trucks. And Let's see if we can make it by this guy here. 
it's too bad, but... When it goes from two to one lane, the AI traffic is notorious for hitting the brakes instead of accelerating or keeping going, so happy to have them behind me in that situation. This is a little longer trip than uh, I'd normally take in these videos, so I may end up just editing it for length. So we'll see how that goes. It was probably pretty hard to stay awake to, through one of these. This uh, overfloater K100E is the uh, forward front axle version, so the uh, front axle is as far ahead as it's possible to go in a cab over. Gives it a nice look. Um, previously, I've only been able to skin the setback axle, so I couldn't really find a XML file or whatever for this particular truck or version of it. I didn't even really know how to access this truck because the two trucks were included in the mod, the forward and the setback. And uh, I was actually digging through the mod file and saw, you know, well, wait a minute, there's a second truck in here. And uh, I uh, managed to use Mod Studio too and get the XML file for this going and I can skin it now so um, got some work ahead of me to catch up on the number of skins I have for the setback and do those for this forward axle which I think is a better looking truck so what's the name of that tune out with this is uh, get an outside look here with how unstable this load is.
Monument Valley before the sun comes down. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be late. Try and get an angle on this. Uh, you can see how far forward that rear the uh, trailer is attached to the Jeep. That's pretty uh, pretty far forward. That pivot point makes it uh, makes it pretty handy. Around tighter corners, 90 degree corners in town, etc. Still know you got a long trailer on, but. This is an interesting uh, trailer configuration. Uh, it's got 16 tires, mm -hmm. wheels on the back, and uh, mm -hmm. see what I've got in the front. I'll have to have a look. I think it's the same 16 on the Jeep and 16 on the front of the trailer. Oh no, sorry, just 16 on the Jeep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 16 on the Jeep, 16 on the back. So a 32 wheel outfit, so in a pretty compact length. Interesting. Now, for those of you who are using this truck but weren't aware of the uh, hidden sort of Easter egg to find the extended chassis, so that length chassis is uh, it's a little trick to finding that. Um, what I'll do, on, uh, I'll make a shorter video, just a short trip with this truck, and then uh, part of it will be showing you the VIT configuration and the uh, Easter egg. It's actually a whole bunch of Easter eggs. you got to go in sequence. 
and voila, you get that chassis. Because the standard chassis for this truck are pretty short. We get a look at this trailer and uh, the articulation on it here around this corner. <laughs> Camera's not cooperating. That's pretty tidy around there. conveyor belt assembly here. Not sure what they're mining or doing at this facility. Okay, you can probably look it up and see what they do in Cayenta. Arizona. So what I do to make these uh, modded engines in the open def for, uh, that's the open definition file for the Zmod engines is um, copy an existing engine uh, back into the folder and rename it to the new engine number so if it was say uh, 660 for 600 horsepower is, would be one of the numbers in the, in the name change it to 70, 80 uh, 10 for a thousand so in, in this case thousand horsepower and uh, and you change heat the uh, engines are uh, calculated on newton meters of torque uh, metric and metric well it's not metric I don't know what the heck you call it European I don't know anyway long story short you get the newton meters that you want, convert it to torque, figure out the torque number, and whatever, create a new engine with the new parameters, and uh, it's pretty, pretty nice. It shows up in your engine folder with the horsepower and torque rating that you gave it, and uh, I don't want to go too overboard. There's some guys make some pretty wild mods out there with 
1,400, 2,000 horsepower and stuff, but trying to keep it a little bit real. And uh, so, in this case, this is 3,660 foot pounds of torque, which is a boatload. But you'll see, it is still. It's not a real rocket or anything with this kind of load on it. And uh, yeah, it's it's kind of good. But at other times, I like to run with the. Uh, less power and uh, where you really got to work the stick to, to get going. It's not it's not much fun driving a really powerful truck with a light load. It's, it's as well drive a car. But, uh, it is nice when you get in hills and stuff to have a modicum of power. counter and turn it on. Just wondering about that big glitch back there. This game does weird things. But it's uh, the framework of the game needs an update. And they're working on one fortunately. Staff that away. Turn left. So uh, my throttle pedal was hanging up. Uh, if I mentioned before in a different video, uh, I've got a really old set here. It's a uh, Logitech G25, and I had the pedals apart probably three times now uh, to clean the potentiometers in them and stuff and try and get the contacts working better and get some reliability out of it and um, they were starting to go again and uh, so it makes the throttle hang up so you, you, know, you lift the throttle to uh, get the pressure off the gears and work your way through neutral and shift of course they're shifting without the clutch here and um, yeah I was really making it difficult so I was grinding as many as I was finding and uh, I uh, a while back uh, I realized that you know this was starting to happen and the third time I cleaned them up it was going to be you, know, you, you just can't keep doing it it's not going to work so I found a use set on Kijiji and uh, bought those so I put the throttle in the other day and uh, seems to work okay and now I'm just hoping that guy was, uh, I bought him from, if he was doing automatics or paddle shifting, that clutch poten potentiometer will have had little use. So in theory I got a, at least one more exit. pot that's going to work. And uh, before I need to really get after finding a good replacement. I like the wheel, and I, I use the real G27 force feedback, turn the in-game force feedback off, and I have really nice steering. In fact, it's excellent steering. And uh, the old wheel steals, steers like a, I call it the million dollar wheel. It's, <laughs> no, that's a stretch, but uh, it steers really well. A great uh, plug-in. It works on. Uh, I, a friend of mine is running it on his G29 without issues, so we know it'll work on the range of G wheels. I don't know if you could run it on a G920 because you'd have to get in to the game files into the bin 64. Is where the plug-in goes. So 
hard to know if that would work. Anyway, we're just coming up to Flagstaff here, so it shouldn't be too long. Enjoyable truck, yeah, driving this uh, cab over every now and then. This and Brutus and the KSW 352, it's always a good, good change of pace. I really like the, uh, the long conventional trucks, but it's, uh, can't drive the same thing every day. I think in real life, if you had the opportunity to move around a bit between trucks, you'd take it. And this being a game, why not? kind of harebrained parking uh, thing they got going for us this time. Doesn't always make a lot of sense where they, uh, you're taking the loads. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. Have a look and see what we've got. We'll uh, kind of hop out here and just check this trailer. See how high. Oh, so this is going to get tight here all of a sudden. Wow. <laughs> Put it in gear, the fan won't pull me. Uh oh, I turned too soon. Wow. Oh, that's. Pretty good trailer. Take this in here. You have reached your destination. I hope so. Where should I place it? What? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well, let's see if we can do this. At, uh, well, that looks pretty freaking difficult. Um, what would we do? Uh, I'm going to have to... I don't know if we're going to get it around the corner. I don't think so. But what we can do is we can back out. Let's see if we can get a different angle coming in here. Oh, the sound is doing that. back there we're going to bump into, I think. Yeah, I hear you. I think what we'll do is we're going to go around the block. I'll have to have a little look. 
look at the map. See what the streets are like here. Yeah, okay. I'll actually turn right here and go around the block. getting a little crazy on the windows. Let's put them down. time. Nobody behind us. It's good. I think we're gonna have a little bit of luck. I don't know about that curb there. get enough of the, ah, oh, we didn't get enough of the trailer into the parking zone. Oh, we did. Holy. Let's see how that, we got it. Okay, good stuff. Well, that was a little trip, um, sorry, it's longer than normal. Uh, hopefully I can edit it down and uh, make it tolerable. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have to work on that little video and show you guys how to get this uh, extended chassis on the K100. And, uh, yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Take care, and uh, we'll catch you again.